because, as I said, the boom goes on one. So you put the XLR cable into there. Hello, and welcome to another video. My last video it was about what was what's in the box, basically, to say that I bought a, some sound gear to help progress my my uh, my TV and film production career in the sound department. Once you get your mixer, which is what I bought, you need battery power. Then you think, well, I need a microphone. And then you think, well, if I need a microphone, I'm gonna need a windshield, which is what you'll see all this gear in my last video. Down below to my to my channel, click subscribe, click notification, um, and click that video and watch what's in what is in the box. And I'm gonna show you basically what it is and what's in the actual bag. How you wire it up, and what is your basic kit. I haven't got all the basic kit. I'll show you what I have actually got in the bag so far, which I can effectively do either a two person interview, stood up, walking, whatever, or a sit down one with a boom in the middle and two videos on the on the on the participants. I'm just gonna show you how you wire it in, how I've wired it in, and what goes on one side and what goes on the other side and how I've powered it and why this bag is actually really good and why K-Tech Stingray bags are actually very good. So um, let's do this and uh, yeah. So here it is my, it's all, I've, I've wired it all in. I haven't brought the microphone down or the microphones because micro, some microphones do go into these kind of things but this is how it is. So put this into here, this is the 633 sound devices recorder there's my camera hello these are the channels one two three four five six you effectively um you you activate each channel but with those toggles and when you activate when you press that push that down like so it pops up and you would act, you activate that one things to hold them up because the battery goes underneath. Um, I'll show you where the battery goes. Under here, the battery is there. Quite big, these batteries. With this thing you can have, um, this is good because you put, you put your battery in there and then if you want to power, say you have a, um, a, receiver, a digital receiver, um, four channels for instance, but you only, wanted, you only wanted to power two, then you could power one off that one off that and if you weren't using two you just, you just flick it to off or you flick it on depending because they'll go into those two so effectively you can power your, 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 um, your mixer and your receivers off all the same thing which that's why I bought it, it's about 150 quid or something like that but it's worth it for less, lack of less batteries, less cluttering. Now I didn't have to get this battery, I could have got batteries just go into there and there but then you've got to access that and charge more batteries up like so and I just didn't want to do that I wanted to have that for future proof myself I've got two so if one goes I can get the, take the other one put the other one in um, these are good and I like this thing because you can hold it you can have it held in there and then you just close it up basically like so and you come to this side I told you before you have come on you have one, two and three. One is empty at the minute because boom goes on one. So you put the XLR cable into there. And then this and these um, are wired through there. And they are they are what power they are and um, what's sending the signal, um, whatever's received into these transmitters into there. So I can record it basically. Um, you put, um, you got mic inputs there. You've got line inputs there. Um, pretty self-explanatory, all that really. Can't really change much. I mean, I will eventually get some inputs for them as well because I'm going to need them, I imagine. Because eventually, I'm going to change these G4s into the outputs. Now, this side is a little bit bare, as you can see, at the minute. But the that cable there is where I've put basically the um, the battery saddle where the battery goes into it's plugged into there so it makes the mains power um, obviously you do out 
left and right out, you've got the earphone socket there, you've got the time code there which obviously you do, you put you put off a wire in there and you can generate time code and you can send that effectively to um, down to the top of the, um, the camera and it's basically the audio is synced up with the camera so where uh, so when you clap when they clap when they do a clap and they, they can see it's the exact same time but we have to buy the time code which I haven't got yet because quite a lot of money and I doubt they're gonna do time code on small interviews because most times they just clap it the clap is an alternative thing to time code so in, in, in post they sync it up by the clap um, so that's great I'm not quite up with these two at the minute, or that really. But the memory card goes in the back, in, in here, two memory cards. And that, the cable came with that, that's if you want to put a, um, a, uh, a keyboard to it so you can type in notes and stuff and change names of participants. Um, so yeah, that's not much going on with that at the minute. Um, that is basically just outputs. This side's inputs, so obviously output is going to be the um, people want to hear will hear what's going on and my, I can hear what's going on and now for some of the good stuff two of these these are the transmitters effectively this is a G4 um, pretty cool body pack transmitter um, range it tells you what's the range is there 606 to 648 GB um, Basically, um, this you would plug the lavalier mic into there, put it onto mute. You can tell them to put it onto mute if they want to have a private conversation when they're not when they're not on set, or you can they can flick it back off mute. And like I say, it's line on it's line on mic, so you can put um, a mic in there or whatever you want to do an output um, instead of that. So when it come when when these come to I turn to IM or listeners for feeds for the um, um, for the director, I would just switch. You know, I would just switch it, make it into a line feed rather than rather than mic feed, so they can hear what's going on. Now those two um, um, cables that I put in the inputs, the U two and three, are, are they go? They are wired through underneath there and into there, and it's screwed into there. And these are basically the receivers. Are, if you want to, you've got on and off set. It's pretty self-explanatory, all this stuff. It tells you it's a battery, a low battery, or radio frequency. And that receives the frequency from the transmitters, which are over there. And I can record whatever two of them in there. That, 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 and that, that, and that, and the two in there. With these cables um, and some other little ones, cost £1,500. Um, not much really, but yeah, they are going to be good for me and they'll, they'll, they'll last me for years and years and years but effectively that's what's in the bag at the minute the um, my um, boom is upstairs in its windshield I showed you in the last video what it what it looks like and what why we use it and why it's so good if you want to check that video out um, eventually once I get once I buy the radio frequency license I will plug the other cable in the other lavaliers into the other into the receivers and show you exactly how it works when I've got the actual right channels actively what is in my bag at the minute. I've got a harness for it. Um, I've got many other things for it. I will do another video about the system itself, how you program the uh, the G4s, how you use the system of the 633 from sound devices. Uh, this 633 is just a starter for me. Eventually, I might get an 8 series. I might, I might hardly ever use this kit, but it's there in case I do like assisting um, more. But uh, this is just because I thought, you know what, if I could take this to set and they need someone on second unit, or I could do an advert which doesn't need much stuff going on with it. I've got the gear, and uh, I'm going to say no idea, but I do have a bit of idea and I can learn the gear more and help people I'm working with know that I know how to use the gear. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, I hope you liked it and I hope you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments what you think, what kind of stuff you'd like to see about this bag and what you think I should buy next for it. Um, any ideas? Um, yeah, thank you, bye bye.